Sometimes a weapon with the highest cost can have the worst impact. Hey guys, Jasper here, and this welcome back to Bad Weapons of Enlisted. In this video, we're talking about the Schmeiser MK36 Mark III. Now, why is this such a bad buy? Why is it bad? And more to the point, is there anything good about it? First, as always, a history on the weapon. The weapon actually stands for Machine Carbine 1936, since that's the year it was tested. It was basically a prototype carbine for use in the German army. Well, it was kind of essentially meant to be something that would be kind of like an SMG, in a way, but it was more of a carbine. However, it really didn't do... To, it didn't really get past testing since it would later be, um, you know, be replaced by the MP28 and later the MP38 and 40. Of course, it was developed by Hugo Schmeiser, which is what the name, which was the name, who of course was in charge of the M of creating the MP28, the MK. Um, the MKB-42, which is obviously in the game, and later the STG. Despite this, however, ironically, Schmeiser was never developed in the... Um, would never develop the MP-40, despite many people believing this. So, how does the, despite its history, what does, how does the weapon perform in-game? The Schmeiser, being a gold order, can be bought at any time, so there's no level cap on it. It has a hit power of 7.1, meaning that it's going to be a two-shot kill against most enemies, maybe at close range, with a drop-off going to three shots, and potentially even four shots, depending on vitality, at longer ranges. It has between 440 and 480 shots a minute, of a low time of three seconds, 20 vertical recoil with five horizontal, a trailer magazine and can fire in both full auto and semi auto fire. Despite this, why is it bad? The reason the Schmeiser is so mediocre is because, while well, it's a gold order weapon for a start, and, and there's better gold order weapons, I'll tell you this is the worst Axis gold order weapon in Normandy. But the problem is, there's so much of an oversaturation of active SMG that the Schmeiser, despite being okay, despite being an okay SMG, can't really compete with it. Now, obviously, this is a really, it's pretty cool. Like, you can see how much, I think this is with the recoil reduction perk. But you can see this is a, um, you know, this thing is quite lazy to me. Despite this, however, there's one major contributor, the magazine size. Compare this to, say, the MKB, right? Not the MKB, the um, STG. Or even compare it to the MKB, which is another gold order weapon which has similar stats. You know, also compare this stuff to the MP40. The only reason I think this is actually good, which is the only reason I used this, was in the early game, where the, um, where you didn't get many, you know, SMG, you know, you got the MP. 34 and the FNAB and even the MP40 but the problem was that even compared to the MP34 and even to an extent the FNAB this thing wasn't that good it, it's fine but it's not it's not the best thing in the um, game like you can see like the problem with it is it's ammo really like I, the 20 round magazine really does hinder this weapon a lot. Because the MP40 performs quite similarly, despite having 12 bullets, and has 12 more bullets in the magazine. And, really, there's not really much to this weapon. Although, I will say one thing. This thing looks really fucking good. Like, look at the, like... The only reason I would probably say that, you know, to um, how to use this, is just how much, how good this thing looks. Like, that looks, it, it looks insanely good. I really love how much this weapon looks. 
And I will say, this thing is good in the early game, but as soon as you get the, like, unfortunately, the MP40, the Beretta, and especially the MP35 outclass this one. When you get the MP35, you should not be using this at all. Anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave your thoughts on this weapon in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video.